Hi, I'm Kirsten McLaughlin, Public Affairs Manager at Cox Communications, and this is Community Connection. Today we're discussing organizations in our community that support thriving young businesses. We have Kristen Miller with the Goleta Chamber and Doug Lynch with the Goleta Entrepreneurial Magnet. Thank you both for being here today. Yes, delighted. Glad to have you. Let's start by telling our viewers a little bit about GEM and its history. I would love to. This is one of my favorite topics. <laughs> At the Goleta Chamber, we're always striving to help small businesses. But many years ago, we really realized that helping very early stage entrepreneurs particularly those uh, associated with the university. Some of our brightest students and, and innovative faculty were coming out with um, technology that could be turned into a business, and we wanted to be able to help them a little more. So the Chamber began a partnership with the City of Goleta and UCSB to start what is now affectionately known as GEM. And tell us a little bit about the state of entrepreneurialism in our community. Well, I think um, Santa Barbara in particular is a very thriving entrepreneurial uh, community going on right now. It originally started with the technology management program at UCSB, and as that continued, as the teams graduated from there, some of them stayed in the community, a lot of them left, and that was one of the main reasons for GEM, is to give them a home to stay here. But now you're seeing there's a startup weekend is happening here, there's a lot of smaller uh, startups that are finding a place, uh, there's several business incubators around in addition to GEM in town, uh, where GEM in particular is geared towards science and technology. So we're supporting a lot of the young startups that come out of the university in particular, uh, some of the graduate students' research, and giving them a place to work. Uh, one of the differences with GEM is that we provide them with uh, access to mentors and advisors. So experienced entrepreneurs that have been there, done that, and can help guide them through some of the uh, problems that they might encounter you know, early on in their business life. Can you tell us um, some about the different programs that GEM offers young businesses coming in the door? Sure, um, right now we're just starting, we've just finished our first monthly workshop uh, for businesses, and this one was about putting together an effective startup team. Uh, we're gonna be running them uh, once a month, um, and if they prove to be popular, they'll be added on uh, more frequently. Uh, we also offer our um, <coughs> conference rooms to um, the local uh, SCORE advisors and the Small Business Development Center advisors so they can bring in uh, their small startups and gives them a place to meet with them. Um, <coughs> we also are going to offer uh, for our second year our uh, Summer Accelerator Program, which is where we bring in, um, last year we invited six teams in. Uh, and it's basically um, a business incubation on steroids. So they go through <laughs> nine weeks of very intensive training. There's subject matter experts, there's guest entrepreneurs that come in and talk with them. Um, each of the teams is, uh, sets four or five goals for the summer. We meet weekly with each team to make sure that they're on track and moving towards their targets. And we ended that uh, each year, well last year at least, with a big demo day out at the Bacara which is well attended. I think we had 200, About 200 people there, people there cheering them on. Yeah, so. So Kristen, since you've been involved um, since the inception of GEM, do you have any um, favorite stories that you want to tell our viewers about um, watching businesses go through the programs? I think the best stories are from the Summer Accelerator Program. Watching these teams take their um, business ideas from just an idea through an accelerated program to then ha see them on stage at Bacara pitching their best story to investors um, was absolutely a dream come true for many of us who have wanted to see our community be able to be more supportive of um, entrepreneurs. Yeah, and probably one of the, the more successful teams that came out of that accelerator, and here's a pitch for Salty Girl Seafoods, is uh, <clears throat> these were three girls from the Bren School that had an idea to try to disrupt the seafood industry. And so what they're doing is they're pairing um, small fishermen and fishing co-ops directly with chefs around the country. Um, and one of the things that they found is that 50% of seafood in Southern California is mislabeled. Either the wrong type of fish, the not <clears throat> as fresh as they say it is, not caught where it says it was. And so they've been developing a system and a program to, as I say, connect 
basically right off the dock to the chefs around the country and they're they've continued since they've been in gym they've continued to grow I think about 10% a month which is a good statistic for uh, startup businesses so they're one of our favorite success stories that's great how would you characterize the type of business that can most be helped by gem um, Science and technology uh, is what we're gearing towards. Our, our mission really is to uh, support um, <clears throat> science and technology entrepreneurs, help them grow, and ideally outgrow GEM and move out into the community. So um, <clears throat> right now as we're growing, um, we're opening, we have what we call hot desks, which is just a, a desk where you bring your laptop in, work away for as long as you want. We provide wireless, all the coffee they can drink. There's a 24-hour access. And those are typically um, sort of sole proprietors, uh, small business owners that don't want to work in their kitchen or their bedroom. And they can come in and they can network with other uh, entrepreneurs. And a big part of my role is to help connect them with uh, others in the community that are like-minded or can help them. Or we have a small business uh, lawyer that offices in there that helps uh, with incorporation and other business issues. So. I think that's one of the big benefits in, in addition to our mentors and advisor network that we have that some of the others don't. That's great. It sounds like you all offer a host of great options for our local business owners. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for being here today. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. And thank you. Until next time, this is Community Connection.